Hello everyone, this is Enea here, and in today's tutorial I'll teach you how to create this triple impossible endless vertex in Affinity Designer. A few months ago I already recorded a tutorial on how to create the impossible endless vertex with two spirals, and it was rather well received. So I decided to create a new tutorial on how to create an impossible endless vertex with three spirals, as well as using a better and improved method. Alright, so to get started we go to File, New, and we create a new composition. We give it A5 in dimensions, orientation to landscape, and we set the document units to pixels, and we click on create. And then we make sure that's snapping, snap to guides, snap to object bounding boxes, and include bounding box midpoints are enabled. And then we're going to set some center guides, so we go to view guides, and we add some horizontal and vertical center guides to the composition. And then we're going to start by creating the first spiral, so we take the ellipse tool, we set the field to none, we leave the stroke as black, and we set the stroke width to one point, and then we'll go ahead and we create a circle, and we give it 500 by 500 pixels in dimensions. And then we take the move tool, we center it on the vertical axis, and we have its lower extremity match the horizontal axis. And then we're going to duplicate and rotate it, so we go here to enable transform origin. We set its rotation center in the middle of the composition. We press on enter to bring out the move duplicate panel. We check on duplicate, we set the numbers of copy to 23, as we need 24 overall. And we set the rotation angle to 15 degrees. And we click on OK. So this gives us this torus shape. So we press on Ctrl A to select all the circles in the torus. And then we're going to take the Shape Builder tool, we're going to create the first branch. We set the action to plus and clean up to all unused geometry. And then we go ahead and we create a branch. So it must go like this in this orientation. And then we set its fill color to pure white. And we take the move tool. We set its rotation center in the middle of the composition. We press on Ctrl J to duplicate it. We set the rotation angle to 15 degrees. And we set the fill color of the duplicated branch to black. And then we select both branches. We set the rotation center in the middle of the composition. We press on Enter to bring out the Move Duplicate panel. We check on Duplicate and we set the numbers of copy to 11 and the rotation angle to 30 degrees. And we click on OK and this creates the first spiral. And then we press on Ctrl A to select all the branches in the spiral. We press on Ctrl G to group them together. And then we press on Ctrl J to duplicate the spiral. We flip the duplicated spiral horizontally and we move the duplicated spiral to the right until its midpoint on its left extremity matches the center point of the first spiral. So now it must be positioned like this. And then the next step to make them appear connected, we hide the spiral at the top and then, while holding shift, we are going to select four branches of the first spiral here at the top right. So we need to select the branches that are fully above the horizontal guide. So we are going to select the branch here. And then while holding shift, we are going to select four branches overall. And then we bring them to the front. And then we bring them outside of the group and to the very top of the composition. And then we unhide the other spiral, and as you can see, this makes them appear connected here at the top right of the first spiral. And then we're going to do the same thing here on the left, so we select the spiral on the right. We press on Ctrl J to duplicate it, and we bring it to the very front of the composition, and we move it to the left. until its midpoint on its right extremity matches the center point of the first spiral. 
And then we're going to do the same things as for the spiral on the right. So we select the spiral on the left. And here, on the bottom left of the first spiral, we need to select four branches overall that lie fully underneath the horizontal guide. So we select this one, and then while holding shift, we select four branches overall. And then we bring them to the front. And then we bring them to the very top of the composition, above the other spiral on the left. And then we unhide the spiral on the left, and as you can see, it makes them appear connected. And then there is one last thing that we need to do to make it appear as there is a smooth transition. Here we need to select the branches here, so this branch here, and while holding shift, this here, this here, and this here. And we need to bring them above the branches here. So we bring them to the very top of the composition. And as you can see, it gives it a smooth transition. So now we have a smooth transition to the three spirals, and this creates a triple impossible and less vertex. Alright, so that was it for this tutorial. You learned how to create a triple impossible and less vertex with three spirals. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and learned something from it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Affinity Designer tutorials in the future. And until then, see you next time. Bye!